The power of a power rule is a way to simplify expressions that have exponents in them. You will use this rule when you have an exponent that is being raised to another exponent. In this video, we're going to show you some hints, we're going to give you some guided notes, and we're going to go over some practice problems. Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about the power of a power rule for exponents. The power of a power rule is a way to simplify expressions containing exponents. You use the power of a power rule when a base has an exponent that is being raised to another exponent. When raising an exponent to another exponent, you keep the base the same, and then you multiply the exponents. And what we're talking about here is if you have a base, let's say 3, and that whole term is being raised to another exponent. What you're going to do is you're going to multiply these two exponents and keep the base the same. If a base does not have an exponent, then the exponent is 1. The power of a power rule is written as x to the a raised to the b is equal to x to the a times b. Let's move on to some guided practice problems. So our first problem is 3 to the third raised to the fifth power. Now a rule says that we keep the base the same, so our base in this case is 3, and then we multiply the exponents. So we'll keep the base of 3 and then we'll do 3 times 5 for the exponents, and then 3 times 5 is 15. So our answer is 3 to the 15th power. Jumping down to number 2, we have 8 squared raised to the 9th power. So same thing as in problem 1, we have our base of 8, so we keep the base the same, and then we're going to go ahead and multiply the exponents. So we'll do 2 times 9, and then of course 2 times 9 is 18. So our answer is 8 to the 18th power. Number 3 gives us 4 to the negative 6th power raised to the negative 2nd power. So this time we have a base of 4 which we're going to keep and we have two exponents that are both negative. So just because the exponents are negative does not mean we change the rule. So the rule was we take our exponent and we multiply it with the exponent on the outside of the parentheses which in this case is negative 2. So now we have 4 to the negative 6 times negative 2. And then of course, negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. So our answer is 4 to the positive 12th power. Number 4 gives us x to the 10th raised to the 4th power. Now our base is a variable this time. It's an x. So our base is going to be an x instead of a number but the rule stays the same. You still keep that base and multiply the exponents. So it'll be x to the 10th times 4, which is x to the 40th. Negative 5 gives us x as a base again, but it's to the negative 4th power, and then that whole term is raised to the negative 5th power. So we keep our base, which is x in this case, and then we multiply the exponents. So we will do negative 4 times negative 5. When you simplify that, you have negative 4 times negative 5, which is positive 20. So our final answer is x to the 20th power. The last problem is x to the negative 9th raised to the negative 7th power. So our base is x, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. And then we have negative 9 raised to the negative 7, which of course we multiply. So we will keep negative 9 and we'll multiply that times negative 7. When you multiply those two together, negative 9 times negative 7, that makes a positive 63. So our answer is x to the 63rd power. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.